when you were backpacking, you said you slept in parking lots and strangers' cars. I did. Did, did the owners of the cars know that you did that? Just, just oh, yeah, that, that, that sounds awful. Questions. Yeah, I know. You know. Imagine the owner coming back to the car. There's someone in our car. I don't know who that is. No. no All okay. right. Give, explain that quickly before we move on. i got to get this out of the way. I was in... Uh, San Francisco, I started calling around and uh, hostels were either fully booked or really expensive. And because that was the beginning of my trip, I said, no, no, I cannot spend all this money here. So very responsibly, I looked for a store that would be open 24 hours. Mm -hmm. I made sure they would be open 24 hours. So I went inside and asked because I thought there's lights here. There's people coming and going. So if I just find a quiet corner, put my backpack down and lean on it, I can have some hours sleep. And when I was in the store, I don't even know this. I forgot how I got to start talking to this man. But the thing is that he was someone working on the maintenance of the electric system of the city, oh, okay, the wires, yeah. yeah. et cetera. And he was just about to start his night shift. And I, I don't remember how it came to be, but this was the man. And he said, you know, just close by, we have our station and we go there and my car will be parked all night in the parking lot of where I work, but I will be inside in the office. And if they call us because there is oh, okay. uh, something to repair, we'll go. So uh, I did that. And. It did cross my mind that maybe it was dangerous, but I spoke to other people, let me put that out, that did some crazy things. It's either youth and complete lack of common sense that shields you in a weird way, or I may say, and I would not advise this to anyone else, no, but I, I think that there is a way of looking someone in the eye, sense in the situation in general and say, hmm. I feel that I can do this because other things I have not done. And I had a, a pocket knife with me, yeah, like, you know, yep. stupid, but not too much, you know, adventurous, but not completely yep. stupid. And, and I accepted that. I don't know if I slept much, but you know, everything went super well. You also have to give people a chance. This man was in fact, just a kind person yep. that even brought me a mug of coffee in the car at some <laughs> three in the morning or so. And so I stayed in his car through that night. And then in the morning he dropped me somewhere and off I went to see right, the Golden well, Gate Bridge. It's a human spirit. You've got to survive. We have to all survive. And we've been in these predicaments before. You have to get through it. 